It is essential for trans and gender diverse people to have access to the best quality care possible. Fenway has such a high bar that we have set. One of the things that the Trans Health Program does is figure out, does someone know where to put their name, where to put what pronouns they use? How can we make sure that our patients and clients are having the best experiences possible when engaging in our care? As a trans person, I've had such a positive personal experience throughout my transition, and I think it's so important to pay that forward and create space for people to be able to tell their stories. Research in and of itself is an important form of advocacy because without data, without information, you don't really know what the community needs. With the Legacy Project, we are actually able to look at a lot of our own patient data. The earliest records that we have of our patients at Fenway having trans or gender diverse identities is starting in 1997. Right now, we have just under 6,800 patients with active uh, electronic health records. Never before have we had such a large cohort of patients to actually look and see, you know, what's going on in, in the population um, and what are some of the kind of unique health factors. The cervical cancer screening for transmasculine individuals. So that is a big study that we did exclusively at Fenway, being able to do a swab yourself in the comfort of your own home. But we were able to show that it detected seven out of 10 cases when compared to a cervical pap test. And so we always say that we're not doing research on the community, we are doing research with the community, always engaging folks from the very beginning and always in the end, making sure that the results of our research end up back with the community in a way that benefits them. One of the things that we focus on a lot is making sure that that information is accessible as possible. One example of content that we've produced more recently within the past year or so is around how to safely bind one's chest to create the, a flatter appearance of the chest. There's not a ton of research about that. We made a brochure. We made sure that we have as many openly sourced and available materials and information as possible so that trans and gender diverse folks anywhere can get the care that they need.